The opposition in D.C. is also in the news lashing out at the Ecuador administration while well, describing it as, in their view, the most nepotistic government in the 62-year history of Ghana, addressing the media at the party's Moment of Truth conference addressed by the National Communications Office of the party, Sami Jemfi. The party accused Ecuador of normalizing the culture of nepotism in his government. Conference is a sixth in a series of engagements by the National Democratic Congress dubbed Moments of Truth. The regular engagement, according to the National Democratic Congress, was to afford Ghanaians the opportunity to critically assess the performance of what it termed the deceptive and corrupt Akufado government in all areas of national life. Addressing the media, the party's headquarters, National Communications Officer Sami Jemfi criticized the president for refusing to heed his own promise of not operating a family and friends government. As fate will have it, the man who accused former President Mahama of nepotism now occupies the highest office of the land and has a chance to keep his own vow made to Ghanaians in 2016. And what do we see? His promise not to operate a family and a friend's government now lies in tatters. Sami Jemfi also accused President Kufuado of awarding huge contracts to companies associated to his brother, as well as giving public funds to his brother-in-law. Beyond planting his relatives and close friends in top positions, President Ekufuado has opened up the public purse for total scramble by these family and friends. He has ensured their total dominance of several sectors of the Ghanaian economy to the detriment of other Ghanaians who are better qualified and in a much better position to execute government jobs. The communications officer of the National Democratic Congress also dismissed assertions by the New Patriotic Party that President Mahama had virtually gifted over 50% of Ghana's bauxite concession to his brother Ibrahim Mahama. Engineers and planners established as far back as 1997, at the time President Mahama was barely starting politics, that engineers and planners, they are the miners for the largest mining company in Africa, Goldfields, Atakwa and Damai. And they mine iron ore for the largest iron ore company in the world, Aslo Metal in Liberia. A contract they won through international competitive bidding at Stockholm and Toronto. Currently, they have been invited by the president of DRC to come and explore and mine bauxite there. Is President Mahama the president of Liberia? Is he the president of Goldfields? Or is he the president of DRC? The press conference was attended by other party bigwigs, including Dr. Ecospio Gabra and other members of the communications team.